In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate a technique in which you can quickly represent threads on a solid model without actually modifying the solid model. This is just for visualization purposes only, and it really works for smaller holes only. But let's demonstrate. What I'm going to do first is hit the spacebar twice to go to a top view, and I'm simply going to just create a point. I'm just using this point as a location for our thread representation. Let's head back over to the command manager. Let's go into our arc tools and let's select helix. Now what you want to do now is you want to set up the parameters of your thread. I'm going to be using a quarter 20 thread. So for my start and end radius, I have 0.125. For the depth, I have 0.75. That's simply just how deep my holes are. And then pitch, I have set at 50 thousandths. I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to left hand mouse click that point and then right hand mouse click when I finish. Now if I rotate our view you can see there's the beginning of our thread representation. Now we can actually do a lot better here. Let's select our thread. That looks good. And let's modify that. Let's head over here to modify. I'm going to change the color to dark gray. I'm going to change the line style or the thickness just to that setting there. Click OK. Deselect and that looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to hit the spacebar twice to go back to a top view again. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that thread representation and we're going to place it within all five of those holes. To do that, we need to select our thread first. So I'm just going to use the window marquee tool. We don't need to bring the point along. So if I just hit the letter S on the keyboard now, I can left click that point to deselect it. All right, now let's go into move copy and we're going to just grab the center. We're going to grab that point location. We're not actually taking the point or copying it. We're just using that point as a location to grab the center of that thread. And all I'm going to do now is just go to the center of all five of these holes and then just left hand mouse click. So we'll come down to the next hole, go right to the center, left click, left click, left click, and then when we're finished we're going to right hand mouse click. Very good. So if I rotate this around now, you can see that those helix that we created, they look like little shadows. And again, this really works on smaller holes only, but it's sure a fast way to represent a thread within a solid model without having to actually modify the solid model. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.